Ajit Pawar today held a series of meetings a day after he broke ranks and joined the Eknath Shinde government as the deputy chief minister, plunging the party founded by his uncle Sharad Pawar 24 years ago into a crisis. Ajit Pawar met Devendra Fadnavis at his residence hours after meeting the rebel NCP MLAs this morning. reportedly to discuss the power sharing formula a discussion was held regarding allocation of ministries to ajit pawar and the eight ncp mlas who have switched to the shinde led government the source said sharad pawar today also visited the memorial of his mentor and maharashtra's first chief minister yashwantrao chavan in satara district which is being seen as a show of strength a day after his nephew's big switch he said the bjp was trying to destroy all opposition parties and vowed to rebuild the ncp After the summer break the Supreme Court on Monday reopened with a paperless and technology enabled setup including free wifi facilities for advocates litigants and others Chief Justice of India DY Chandrachud announced that the top court has made the facility of free wifi available in courts 1 to 5 and soon it will be enabled in bar rooms as well The Chief Justice also said that there will be no books or papers but it does not mean that they will not rely on books and papers at all The court rooms of the top court now have a modern design due to the installation of various technology facilities including more screens and upgraded video conferencing facilities. As part of the e initiatives in the Supreme Court of India, the facility of free Wi-Fi is made available for advocates, litigants, media persons and other stakeholders visiting the Supreme Court of India. The Supreme Court on Monday directed the Manipur government to submit an updated status report on the ethnic violence in the state. The court will hear the case next on July 10th. During the brief hearing, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, appearing for the Centre and Manipur government, told the Apex Court that the situation in the state is improving, though slowly. The hearing comes a day after the United People's Front and Kuki National Organisation, two umbrella Kuki organisations, have withdrawn roadblocks in Manipur's Kang Pokpi district on National Highway 2. In a joint statement the two organizations which represent among others former militant groups that have signed suspension of operations pacts with the government said that the blockade on the highway has been lifted with immediate effect following an appeal by union home minister Amit Shah The Delhi police is on the lookout for a drone that reportedly hovered over the residence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi on Monday morning at around 5 a.m. The police were informed about the drone sighting by officers of the Special Protection Group, an elite force that protects the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister's official residence comes under the no-fly zone or no drone area. After being alerted, the Delhi police launched a search operation to track the drone. However, no drone has been detected so far. Information about flying a drone in the no-flying zone above the Prime Minister's residence was received. SPG contacted the police at 5:30 a.m. An investigation is underway. Delhi police said in a statement, "A no-fly zone is a restricted area of airspace over a landmark event or geographic region in which aircraft are forbidden to fly unless they have special authorization. Prohibited aircraft can include manned aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicles, also called UAVs or drones." Governments or representative bodies such as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization or the United Nations typically impose no-fly zones for military security, safety or privacy reasons. <laughs>